on the vehicles, you're going to have specific backing plates that are made to go into those areas. Um, your first step when you get your backing plates is to move the cathodic dip coating from it. You want it to have a bright, shiny finish when you're done. So what we did, we went ahead, this is just like a, an example piece. We removed the cathodic dip coating from it. Our next step would be, be to chemically clean the piece. So what we have is, it's called R1. It's gonna remove any kind of contaminants from that substrate before you go into the bonding process. Our backing plates are made out of steel. Um, that is going to be bonded to the carbon fiber on the back side. Uh, backing plates are also known as reinforcement plates, as you guys know when it comes to quarter panels, A pillars, and rockers area. Uh, by BMW, every backing plate is pre-made, pre has a part number, and so the technician doesn't have to make it. They just order it, and they just have to go through the prep step. So there's always the same part, always the same quality piece going back in the same areas. So every section point has its own back and plate that the technician has to order. So once we've chemically cleaned the piece, our next step, we're gonna to wanna to put a layer of K1. K1 is our structural adhesive from BMW. On all our adhesives, it's gonna have a use by date on them. You wanna make sure to use it by that date. Also with K1, uh, being the structural adhesive, they actually actually have a epoxy base inside of it, so it's, it's very good for corrosion protection too. Uh, so we want to make sure we cover every inch of that bare metal, and this way we never have any kind of rust or corrosion issue because it is epoxy uh, properties inside our glue. So your first step when getting the cartridge ready, you're going to have to purge the cartridge first to make sure that you get equal parts coming out. So. We like to purge it without the tip first, and then we'll purge it with the tip again. Um, this ensures that the, qual the quality of the adhesive, the mixture is correctly, and it's gonna harden. Um, as any technician, we would like to do it only once. And you always wanna make sure to use the adhesive tip that comes with that cartridge as well. So then on our part, we're just going to want to have a thin, transparent layer on it. So this does two purposes. This actually does our corrosion protection, is one purpose. Or actually other purposes are carbon glue, the K2 we talked about earlier, sticks better to the K1 glue than the actual bare metal. Plus our K2, the carbon glue, doesn't have any epoxy uh, base inside the glue itself. spreader just want a nice thin even coat over the whole surface the reason we don't want to go any thicker um, is because if you put too much thick material on there and then you put the, another coat of k2 adhesive on there now it actually might make the panel stick out and you're not going to get a flush fitment uh, so the, we want to keep it as thin as possible just enough to to cover every single inch of the bare metal do some TV magic. <laughs> so we're gonna do some TV magic and, and actually have a piece that's completely nice, thin, applied. Also, the key thing is you cannot put wet glue on wet glue. So we actually, actually have to cure the K1, nice, hard K1, and then we can apply the K2, which is our carbon glue over top of this. What's the cure time on the K1? It's 40, 48 hours, air dry, you can bake it. There's certain levels, but it's always in our BMW ISTA repair instruction under for the K1, and exactly. So there's th three different stages. So you could do a 30 minute cure time, but it's gonna be baked at a high temperature. Um, so there's different stages, but 48 hours, just air dry, so. Nice new coat. So I'll go 
minute, you can move that one over. So now with a little magic of TV, we actually have a nice dry K1. So again, with the K2 adhesive, it's a two-part, one tooth the hardener, one tooth the adhesive. Always check the date, make sure it is um, not expired. Um, and then we'll go through the purging stage with the special K2 gun itself.